What's up guys, this is Sword Style Guitar coming to you again from the Williamsburg Bridge. Check out this view. Absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> I'd like to talk to you now about being certain when there are times where the path is not clear. Oftentimes, as a musician especially, as a guitarist, you may have any number of difficult situations going on within your musical life. For instance, you may feel as if the band you are currently in is not catering to your needs. You feel as if you've been there for too long, or you feel as if, you know, you should go out and you should do another project with somebody else. You feel as if your professional life has come to a standstill. You feel as if you have maxed out your amount of hours in a day, and you can no longer progress. You don't feel the you don't feel the same good feelings that you once got from practicing because you don't make the progress that you used to make. <clears throat> and these things are real. And I've experienced them, and any professional musician has experienced them. <sighs> the way to power through uncertainty is to just take the smallest action. You don't need to take perfect action at all. The first thing that you need to do as soon as you get into a rut is just take a second to think of to just think of the first thing that you know would be a good move for you. Now, you can meditate on it, you can breathe, you can take 10 minutes to just meditate and breathe, and then at the end of it, you can just think about the first few things that come to mind and write them down and plan it. But also, it doesn't have to be that big. You can just immediately pick something that you would like to do, something that you feel in your heart that you really, truly would love to do right now. And even if that's a slight departure from what you used to do, like let's say that you have no training in, in uh, neoclassical metal. Let's say that you are a blues guy through and through, but you like the Yngwie Malmsteen type music. And you've always wanted to try it, but you feel as if it's too technical and there's not enough soul in it for you to really express yourself and you would be cheating yourself by learning it. But you like it. And you just for a hunch you say, Oh fuck it! I'm just gonna learn it, and I wanna, you know, start a. I wanna start a band. <clears throat> what you should do right then and there is you should immediately commit yourself to making a decision towards that goal. And what I mean is, as soon as you think of that, go on your phone and look up an Ingve Malmsteen song, and just look it up and say, commit to yourself right then and there that you are going to learn something right then and there. Say you could learn that song. Say that you could learn a lick or two from that. <clears throat> and what you do is you then write down a commitment to yourself that by the end of the week I will have learned so and so many bars. I will have learned the chorus from this song. I will have learned something for this song. And then you could get yourself an accountability. You could get somebody who you could hold yourself accountable to. You could tell them you will pay them $20 if you don't learn a new Ingve Malmsteen song by the end of the week. This, this method of just taking a small action from the scene that you have these doubts and then holding yourself accountable is a tremendous way to be a self-starter. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to have a tremendously large action to get a tremendously large result remember that because if you just let's say you learn that song let's say you learn the whole song and it's in a completely different style from what you're used to learning you may discover that you have been going on the wrong path or you may discover a new technique or a new sound that will greatly benefit you in the road to come you may demonstrate to yourself that you have the ability to learn a new song of a different style and that is something that's huge to you Regardless of what you do, whenever you have uncertainty, be sure to follow these simple steps. One, just take an immediate small action. I don't care if that's as simple as changing the strings on your guitar or as complicated as quitting your band and maybe going on the search for a new one. <clears throat> but whatever you do, life is too short for you to stay stuck in your uncertain terms. In other words, you need to figure out a way to get out of it and live with passion about what you do on the guitar. And that is my job to help bring that understanding to you.
and I hope you have gotten something out of this. Feel free to leave a, a, a comment on the uh, on my YouTube video below, and I will be I will be glad to respond to it at some uh, future future point. All right, thanks, guys. Peace.